Let's go. All right, so once you have the footage that you want to glitch out, go ahead, hit C on your keyboard, grab that blade cut, and cut some frames. Doesn't matter, you can do however many you want. But the key here is to make a few so that we can delete every other frame to make kind of like a strobe effect. So make it scattered and sporadic. We'll add an extra one here so that we got a chunk of two. Perfect. There we go. Now it kind of looks like a strobe effect and that's the beginning of our glitch. So copy one of those frames, hold down alt on your keyboard and drag it above on the next track. And then what we're going to do is go over to effect controls for that frame drop the opacity a little bit and then we're gonna slide that frame over so it kind of makes like a second body which looks kind of like a glitch effect but that's only one frame so we need to do it again so we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this one same thing drop the opacity slide that over you can go left right whatever you want let's make that frame a little bigger and then you can open up the lumetri tab and mess around with the saturation maybe the highlights and contrast and exposure just mess around with it so it looks kind of like something's being glitched like an rgb split now if you actually want to do the rgb split technique you can copy another frame over and then go into the effects tab and look for something called arithmetic you're going to grab that and you're going to apply it to the frame and that's going to give you your red, green, and blue separation channels. So change this operator over to max. Let's drag the red value to 255, but we need to change that blending mode to linear dodge add. And then when we move that over, you're going to see that red channel staying the same. Next thing to do is add sound. Drag that onto your timeline and then just trim it down to fit the specific spot where you've glitched out those frames. Drop that down a little bit, turn that up so we can hear it. And 